You are performing this repair at your own risk. We cannot be held responsible for any injuries or damages done to your device while attempting a repair. In this tutorial, we'll be replacing the drive on a 30 gig iPod video. The process is identical for the 60 and 80 gig models, it's just a different hard drive. If you're looking to upgrade from say a 30 to a 60, be sure to contact us because there are some compatibility issues. Here we see our iPod video attempting to boot and it's going to give us a sad face. In addition to the sad face, if you put your ear up to the back of the iPod, you should hear a distinct clicking coming from the hard drive. Both of these are indications that our hard drive has failed and will need to be replaced. The first step in doing so is to open up the iPod. Using our case opener tool, we'll pry in the middle of the right side of the iPod, release the clips on one half of the iPod, sliding both up and down, and once we release the clips on half, we should be able to get the case open. Before we can flip back the case, we'll have to remove the battery cable from the logic board. To remove this cable, you'll have to release the tension holding it in the port. And you'll do this using your flathead screwdriver and gently lifting up the brown clip. You do not want to completely remove it. It will sit in place, ready to be latched down again when you reassemble the iPod. We're now free to open the back casing up to the left. However, be careful because there is still one more cable attached, which leads to the headphone jack and hold switch assembly. It may not be a bad idea to also replace a battery while you have the iPod open, since each battery only has a finite number of charges. To remove the hard drive and cable, we'll have to get underneath of a brown latch that flips in the vertical direction. That will then free the tension allowing us to remove the drive. Chances are your replacement hard drive will not come with the hard drive cable pre-installed. To remove it from our old drive, we'll use our small flathead and get underneath the black tab, flipping it in the vertical direction, releasing the tension holding that cable in place. We can remove the cable and reinsert it into our new drive in a similar manner. Now we'll go ahead and reinsert our new hard drive, sliding the hard drive cable into its port, and then flipping the tab downwards. Now we'll fit the hard drive snug into the frame, and we're now ready to plug the battery back into its port. Still remember to be careful about the headphone jack and hold switch cable. You don't want to tear that. And what we're going to do here is insert the cable into the battery port, and then using our small flathead screwdriver, we're going to push down on the brown clip. All that's left now is to close up our iPod, and to do this we're going to apply an even force around the front and back casing to snap them back together. You can find all the parts and tools necessary to complete this repair on our website.